Hi there, Mark from Earth Cruiser. Today I've got our uh, Explorer 440 here, um, based on a Unimog 430. So an Explorer 440 means it's a 4.4 metre camper. Uh, the 430 Unimog is a 400 series with a 300 horsepower engine. It's a special vehicle. It's got um, portal axles, coils all round, discs all round, central tyre inflation. And of course the most special thing is the steering wheel goes from left to right in 27 seconds. Some of the things we've changed on this is uh, moving the header tank to the radiator, clutch bottle, just to bring the camper and the cab closer together. Put larger fuel tanks uh, on this side, about 350 to 375, and then the same on the other side. This is split into two tanks, allowing for isolation if you have any problems. Also, there's about five pumps which move fuel from port to starboard, starboard to port, and then up to the engine. Also off-board if you need to um, help someone out. Um, double leaf security door with a stainless steel um, screen if you want to leave it open and let some air flow. Um, I'll just show you the two awnings coming out. So on this side, you've got the option of two awnings. Obviously this one will give you shade into your top windows and this one, if you just want to stop and um, have a, a quick um, bite to eat beside here, put the small one out also it's uh, lower so you're uh, protected by the sun more. You've got your stairs here. And the awnings back up again. Okay, now roof up. And then down the side, you've got a um, perimeter detection system, which as someone was to move or animal, or whatever, lights will come on at night. You can turn that on and off. Uh, cassette, toilet is in behind here. Handle to allow you get in and out That's of the it. vehicle. So as you do that, the toilet comes out, but what it exposes, if you have a look in there, is our entire pump system. So that allows us to move all our water around. It has our um, filtration system in there. It also has the ability to be able to pull water from a stream. But the other little thing in there is a water blaster. And the idea of the water blaster is to reduce the amount of water you need to either clean your vehicle or get the salt off the chassis rails if you've just done a crossing through the desert or something. It also allows you to, um, if you've broken something to clean the mud and everything off away so that you can um, see what you've broken. So here we've got lockers with a setup for a little outside kitchen. And then down here we've got entry into the locker like that. So in here we have a 70 litre fridge freezer. Uh, we have a manual fuel gauge just in case the digital system was to go down. You still have some way of measuring your tanks without dipping them. Uh, in here, a full barbecue and sink with cutting board on top of there. Sink comes up there. That drains all the way to the other side. Pie oven. And then put it all away. And with some ease, you've got easy access into here. Let's come in here and have a look inside there. Little vacuum cleaner, another uh, lithium torch, and of course you have a uh, barbecue light if you want uh, this. And then we've got our toilet roll holders. And in the back here, we've got a 200 litre Arctic tank. So that's heated with uh, two, 24 volt DC, and it's also heated with diesel. So you've got the option of being able to um, use either. Okay, going around the back, 
I've got two large um, spare wheels and uh, tires. We've got a motorbike rack, match track rack, rear lights, air conditioner, and we've got a utility crane over there. Uh, so now get these down, you, uh, there's some electrical connectors here, you plug in a pendant, uh, that allows you to drop these wheels all the way to the ground. The little crane that's in there will pick them up from anywhere you drop them so that they've got plenty of uh, room to drag them across. So it means that you don't have to um, try to lift the thing up too many times. Uh, the motorbike lift will pick up a bike up to 300 kilos and uh, secure it in place. Max Tracks also has a wood carry on it, but there is a wood carrier that comes with this. Um, so it's just a small little net. So it's for those times where you just got to pick up some wood for the next two nights or something like that. Um, yeah, as I said, the air conditioner in the back, that's a 24 volt air conditioner, runs off the lithium system. Uh, it's got a 20,000 pound winch in here. Uh, it's got full towing capacity in there. The bike can be charged from either the back here, so it plugs in down there, or the battery can be taken out and put into the side and charged, uh, locked away behind there. Two reverse cameras, one for tree line, and the other for just down here so you can see everybody. All right, we'll go around the other side now. Okay, so along this side, we've got our utility crane, uh, and of course, another connection here to allow the wheel to come down on this side. Uh, actuators all around to lift the roof in here. More storage, axe, that out. locker. Just have a look inside here. Um, I've got a washing machine, electric tools, battery operated tools, wheel or charging system in there. It also allows to charge your bike battery in there. And of course, the Arctic tank again. And then the shower's just here, so it opens up. This is an outside shower. So in here we've got uh, a light, you've got your shower, you've got your water filler, so this fills up your waters for your front and rear tank. And then here we've got our awning out. In here we've got the rest of the tank system. So again, it's another 375 litres or so. Uh, we have a fuel pump system that allows us to move fuel from this side uh, and then push it back to that side. We also have fuel mergers out here and of course all of that is up inside in the control panel so you don't have to get out to do it. But if you are filling from this side, you can push the merge tank, it'll merge the two tanks and you can fill them both up from one side rather than having to move the vehicle to either side. Uh, these are our exhausts. Um, for your diesel heater for air and diesel heater for water. This is another perimeter sensor which then brings on the lights if something is outside like an animal or a person. So you've got two 200 amp at 24 volt which is equivalent to all the other trucks we use. It'll run your air conditioner for uh, between four and six days depending on the outside air temperature. Uh, we put a larger add blue tank on, I think they come with a 15 or 25, and this is a uh, 65 litre. Uh, so we've rerouted the air system. So it comes with a vortex and everything inside that. We just mount all that inside. It's the same vent. Uh, we bring it down inside our body and then in here and all the air filters don't change. Scrub bar on top. There's a little ladder just there. That's a removable ladder. It's a, a little box section. It's designed in Australia and it comes out to a full A-frame a, a ladder. And that, um, is mounted there, which you can get to through from CAD. Scrub bar mounts all your aerials and your sand flag. Right, so moving around to the front, we've got a, uh, a larger bull bar that we put on this one. Uh, it's got jacking rams for stability, for lifting. Um, also, you've got a 20,000 pound winch inside here. We've got these little road vision lights, which give us plenty of light when you're off-road. Uh, two big light force HIDs, and of course, big bar lights and in the very front there there's a hidden camera which gives you a it's a 1080p camera so it's a, a massive resolution that you're picking up off that all right so let's have a look inside this is it inside 
Okay, so where have we got? Got some special features in here. Um, for one, this is the first one we've built with a ballistic curtain. So uh, the rating is uh, probably not best discussed, but basically it's an Aramid Kevlar curtain with stainless steel and uh, pulls across, locks in there. I won't lock it, but that's how that works. Um, and of course, then you can get through to your camper um, table here for the um, dinette. I'll just slide through here a little bit. And you can see some of the controls. So you've got pockets up here. These are modified hood lining. Uh, we put pockets up here for um, phones and sunglasses, wallets. Um, your control system, everything's up here now. So your brakes up here, all your controls for your central tire inflation, your air conditioning. Um, this is the screen that controls fuel. So you can pull your fuel from the starboard side, the port side. You can merge it from here. You can transfer it from start, starboard to port or of course from port to starboard. They're telling us here that uh, these are the two fuel tanks. We've got our two water tanks there and another water tank there. That whole screen allows you to control all your lights. Um, it tells you what the batteries are doing. So solar's uh, barely on because it's fully charged. And um, you've got all your controls for such things as fridge, hot water, pumps, roof up and down stairs, and turn your motion detectors on. And then of course, emergency lighting. So what emergency lighting does is turn on all the big lights around the vehicle at night if you need to. Uh, this is the setup that allows you to put the steering wheel from left to right in 27 seconds. And that allows our customers to drive all around the world on the, uh, on the right side of the road. Uh, some of the other things we've done is put a multiple switch panel down on the doors on both sides. So it's as if you're driving as a master on either side. Um, you know, little things like torches and that are put out through all, through, throughout the vehicle. Um, manufactured this little area here for them to put phones and whatnot, and there's a charger there that goes with it. Okay, so from here, under here, we've got electrical control box, 240 volt, our main battery switches. Our system switches are in front behind this curtain here. Um, full digital control system under there. Underneath this seat, we have one full side of it is for storage, the other has battery management system, solar panels, solar regulators, I should say, and your heating systems. Obviously, the solar is all on the roof. They come down through here to all the regulators. Okay, so this is the rear of the vehicle. Uh, customer has opted for a coffee machine that they have chosen, and that's up into the roof, so that there's plenty of room there. Uh, it's got a 212 litre Nova Cook fridge in it, which is 150 litres fridge and approximately 50 litres freezer. Induction cooktop, of course. Control center, so this is the same as the one that's at the front. Uh, it's just a little smaller. And then you've got a stainless steel uh, sink, heater controls, reading lights. This is a uh, curtain that allows you to um, section off the bed just so that the air conditioner can uh, cycle a little bit more. There's your air conditioner back, 24 volt, runs off the lithium batteries. We've got a roof pod, equivalent to about three drawers and fans in the roof. Drawers are extremely large. And then I'll just show you how the shower works. So to make the shower work, you just open this up, unclip this our new um, double leaf shower door, like that, and then the shower comes down from here. Yeah, and then I'll show you how the toilet works. So the toilet works like this. And of course, you can close this up as a cubicle um, and leave that out at night if you want. So you don't have to walk back in. Hot and cold water here. Shower goes up onto the door up there. Toilet roll holder. Of course, that goes back in there. And 